Well, my name is Greg Anderson. I'm a municipal engineer here with SEH. And a question I often get at council meetings or public meetings, or even from family and neighbors is, after it rains, why is there water still standing in the street? Shouldn't it go all down the pipe? Well, like one of my favorite answers to my kids, that depends. Now the easy answer is, the catch basin grate or the inlet could be full of grass clippings and leaves and just needs to be cleared out. More often than not, that's not the case because the design of storm sewer systems is a little bit of an art and a little bit of a science. So we're standing out here side of our office here today in a typical urban street. And if you live in a residential area, this street probably looks a lot like the one outside your house. We got the bituminous pavement, we got the curb and gutter, and we got the inlet or what we like to call the catch basin. And that's where the water goes from the street into the curb, into the catch basin and then into the pipe and eventually out to the outlet or the pond. Now, when these are designed in residential areas, typically storm sewer systems are designed for a 10-year event. What's a 10-year event? Well, a 10-year event means it has a one in 10 chance of happening at any given time. Doesn't mean it's only gonna happen every 10 years, but it's more of a percentage or how often that repeats that type of storm event. And a 10-year event for a residential street is the typical design standard in this area. Now, what happens when we get more than a 10-year event, say a 25, 50, or 100? Well, then you're gonna have water standing in the street for a period of time at the end of the storm or after the storm until it can all get into the pipe. Now, on a busier road like County Road E out here, farther from our office where you have two lanes of traffic and it's a much higher speed, we don't want the water to stand in the street because that could be a danger to the traveling public for hydroplaning or just, you know, a concern. So another factor in the storm design that is applied on a busier road with higher volume cars or of cars, higher speeds, is spread calc. And what we talk about with the spread calc is how far in the gutter does the water spread out into the street. Out there where we want to keep the water off the travel lane, we try to keep that spread calc much smaller so the water might only build up a couple of feet during a given event. On the residential street outside your house, we typically got about 30 feet of pavement, meaning we got a 10, two 10 foot lanes and we got six to eight feet of shoulder and the water and a busy on an event could build up beyond the catch basin a few feet for a period of time and then go back down, but you'd still be able to drive through the middle of the street and get to your house. And even on a large event, if the water did cover the street for a little bit of time, it's, you're not driving through at 45, 50 miles an hour. You'd slowly go through and after a while the water would go away. The, storm, the, the street is actually part of the storm sewer system in that it is designed in the low volume areas to hold some water up against the curb and typically not get outside the curb. If it does, you've seen a pretty significant event that we, that we see here, but not one that we designed to for the residential streets because we've got the room to let the water build up or spread into the street before it impacts the traveling public. Now, if you drive on a busy road, say Highway 96, County Road E, you'll see these catch basins, but you'll see a lot more of them. You might see a couple right next to each other, and you'll see them more frequently than you do on the street in your house for that very reason, because we want the water to not build up into the traffic. Now, when the water gets in the catch basin and into the pipe, it goes out to the pond or downstream to the outlet. The outlets, they're designed for a 100-year event, meaning a 0.01 chance of happening. Now, you might say, well, Greg, we've been seeing a lot heavier rain in the last few years, or is that my imagination? You know, the back in my day type of speech. Well, if you think you've been having more intense, frequent rains, you're right. And because of that, the design calculations we use when it comes to storm design have even taken that into account. We're accounting now for more frequent, intense rains to, let, to keep the water off the street as best we can. Now, another question you might have is, well, if you can do that out on County Road E, just put in more catch basins to keep the water from building up on the street, why don't you do that by my house? Well, that's another one of my favorite answers to my kids. Money, are you going to pay for that? So part of the equation to design the storm sewer is, well, we want to design for an event that's not going to impact the normal use of the road, but yet at a cost-effective measure for what we're building for, meaning can the street stand a little water in it every once in a while, or do we want it to stay dry for the most part except during the most extreme events? And that becomes down to a decision of the, just, of the jurisdiction, as it's a city, street, or excuse me, city, county, or state, whoever owns that road, them along with their designers will decide what frequency we use and what cost are we going to spend on designing a storm sewer system and what's that impact to the facility.
Typically, like I said, 10 years is generally the accepted standard for most roads. Part of the things you take into account though is what are we building by? Is it a downtown where a lot of water in the street could be an issue to businesses? Or is it a residential area where if it does get outside the curb and into the yard for a period of time every so often, it's probably not a big deal. So those are some of the factors that we take into account when designing storm sewer. And if you've ever wondered, why is the water standing in my street after it's done raining? That may be the answer.